So you're sick. You got feline AIDS. So you did a bunch of research, and you found out in order to get well, you pretty much just have to stop. Whatever the hell you're doing, just stop doing it. Everything. Your diet sucks, your lifestyle sucks, just stop and rest. And that will heal you. To a point. And today we will discuss whether exercise can hinder or enhance the healing process. You're all you ever had to be. You're all you ever had to be. Take control of your life, you can't be mad at me. So the first couple health books I read were the raw vegan fruit boy books. David Klein and his healing colitis and Crohn's and then in 801010. Don't bring this on yourself, Doug. You know what will happen. You know what's gonna happen. You're just gonna stand there and let me do it. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Yep. There he goes. I think that's the last we'll be seeing of him for a while. So in David Klein's book, he was all about the rest. Just stop. Don't even exercise. We all know exercise is good for you, but if you're chronically ill, you don't have energy to spare. You gotta just stop and rest and let the adrenals recharge and let your whole body just focus on your weakness and direct all its healing energy to that weakness. And you don't have time to run around and lift weights and shit. That will hinder your process and kill you. So for like the first six years of my healing journey, I didn't do any exercise at all. I didn't run. I biked to get groceries. Came back. That was it. The odd push-up. But when I did it, I was like, is this good? That, that felt like too much effort. I probably just gave myself dinosaur herpes again. Again, the third time third time you'd think I'd learn in the first two. So I continued on this lazy man's approach and it hit me one day. I was just like, am I just gonna rest forever? Like I feel like absolute shit. I'm tired all the time. I have no energy. And here's the paradox of the mind. It's like you have no energy so you don't want to work out. But working out gives you energy if you do it right. So I was stuck in the fatigue syndrome. I wasn't moving my body at all, and I felt like shit. So I was like, well, I can't exercise. I'm weak, I'm tired. But I got inspired one day. I believe it was Frank Madrano, who just, he started doing these things where he's like walking in the air, calisthenics, and I was like, that guy is so strong. And then I was like, he's vegan? What? <laughs> so super strong vegan, I was like, I wanna do that stuff. I should be strong. I wonder if I can do that. So I started doing some push-ups and I started actually feeling better. I know what it's like to be so tired. You just, you have no motivation. It feels like you can't work out at all. But let me just encourage you to go for a walk. Go for a walk in nature, try to find a park and start slow, start super slow. Even with the push-ups, you start at those baby ups. Don't touch Brett's glass. He'll beat me. You start with these. These are your push-ups. If that's too much for you, you come, you bring it in here. You just bring it in here and you do this. Not one-handed. It's way too much for you right now. You just do that. Start slow. It doesn't have to be anything special. Just move. Try to move. Walk around your house if you're bedridden. Try to sit up. Just sit up. Wiggle your toes. That's an exercise. You want to move the body. And I just, I notice such a difference in my energy levels now that I'm active all the time. I work out six days a week now. I run every morning. I bike to the markets. It's like, that is one key that was always missing. I was always thinking I had to rest. You gotta rest. You can't heal and do stuff. Your body needs this energy. No, you generate it. You generate new energy and moving moves that lymphatic system. That sun is what? It's your problem. So I finally started to write my exercise ebook. It's called Monkey Strength. And it's just gonna be so super motivating based heavily, admittedly heavily, 
on convict conditioning, but I change a few things, I improve some things, and I make the steps more fun to graduate through. There's more stages. You start out as a donkey bitch, and then one day, should you fulfill donkey bitch duties, you get to be a garden wolf. One day, if you're lucky, a mountain hawk, and then the rare individual will reach the thunder monkey stage. Congrats if you do. Am I too weird for this? I'm too weird for life. Yeah. So anyways, I've been getting super strong. I'm working out six days a week now. One exercise each day, a different one. And might as well just show you some of my progress. I've been filming this past week in case you were wondering. So the basic program that I'd recommend anybody do is at least start going for a walk in the morning. I'm up to the stage where I'm jogging slowly, so it's up to you which way you want to go. If you just want to walk, you want to go for a bike ride, you want to do some, you want to jump on the rebounder, whatever you do, you don't do a strength-based workout in the morning, you do an endurance-based one. So pick your endurance one of choice. I start out super slow. I walk for like six minutes, and then I start slowly ramping up the speed, and I'm trying to go super soft now, I'm just, I'm worried. I don't want to end up with runner's knees and joint pain. So I'm going super soft. I'm trying to land on the toes, like midfoot striking, but like so soft, like an elf prancing through the woods. That's what I'm aiming for. So I run in the morning, maybe 20, 25 minutes, something like that. Get a sweat going, you're pumping, and then you feel like you accomplished something. You've moved your lymph system. You've got rid of some toxins rehydrate yourself, take a shower, and get on with your day. Then you got your whole day to do whatever the hell you want to do. Whatever it is you do. If you have your office job, you go to your office job. If you have your permanent vacation lifestyle like myself, who's in Thailand, like an idiot, breathing in sewer air. It's fun times here. I love that. You go about your day, and I promise you, if you're fasting, and you're doing this one meal a day protocol like I suggest you should, that's a baseline for anybody, you, you eat two meals a day, you will die in seven days. That's just a fact. So eat one meal a day, and I promise you, I can't guarantee it, but I promise anyway, that by like 5 p.m., 5.30, you're going to feel strength. You just start doing something strength-wise, and I guarantee it, no guarantees, you're going to feel so strong. You're going to wonder why. It's because of the growth hormone, it's because of the testosterone increase. You're just going to feel good, and you're going to work out stronger than you would have been even if you had eaten before, because you're primed and ready to kill. So what I've been doing, so I'm on to the full pull-up finally, and I found a tree near my house. You can find a bar or a tree with a horizontal branch anywhere in the city, wherever you live most likely. I don't care if you have to go knock on your neighbor's house. Let me jump on your tree. I'm a monkey, I need to live. So whatever exercise it is I'm doing that day, today is just pull-ups. So I warm up a bit. I just hang for a bit. I hang for as long as I feel like hanging, and then I'm warm. Even though I'm always warm here in Thailand, you can't get away from it. So I'm doing three sets of every exercise now. And the week before I was at six, five, and five. Now I'm at nine, seven, and six. So the goal is just, eight and eight but i'm gonna go for eight eight and eight and i should get there soon look at these giant screws they're so giant oh my god or have i been miniaturized the handstand this has been such a battle I can't believe how hard it is to do a handstand for two minutes. I think it has a lot to do with the positioning of your arms, and there's easy ways to do it and there's hard ways, and I'm doing it the hard way or something. But I got one minute and 53 seconds the time before, last week, and now slightly worse. I got a minute 45 there, but I started doing them for multiple sets. For the longest time I was just doing that one effort. It's like, can I go a minute and a half, boom, and then I'm done. Now I do sets. So I did three sets last week for a total of four minutes and 25 seconds. This week, 
4 minutes and 58 seconds what? So in the end, while I didn't beat the first time on the first attempt, my three times overall beat that. So like Olympic standard wise, I won. I won. So that's all I care about. And I bet you next week we get the same damn time. When I make it to that two minutes, it's gonna feel like such an accomplishment to hear that alarm bell go off and I'm still in the air. My God, it's been like three months, three and a half months I've been doing this one. Stuck on this exercise, stage three, third dimension, donkey bitch, holy shit. And these bridges, I'm still doing these. I'm still afraid of trying the fully falling down to the ground one where I died. So I just, I keep going on the wall and I just, I'm keeping working on my flexibility. I just, I try to flex more, get that spine cracking, get my shoulders so they straighten out more. It's a tough one. So I'm staying at this stage for a bit until I feel comfortable. Then I'll start going on a raised surface and trying to lean back onto my bed or something like that. Something easier than the ground. I can't believe that is the next step and it won't be in my book, Monkey Strength. Superior to convict conditioning in every way. I'd buy it. I'm also on to the new leg raise step. So it's a half bent leg raise. I find it pretty easy. I noticed this bar right downstairs from my condo and I'm not sure that it's that strong and I'm pretty sure the people don't want me using it, but I used it. And then I saw the lady come and I was like, oh, I wasn't doing that. So then I went to the park near my house. I used that same horizontal tree branch. So I completed that in one go. So I advanced to the next stage, which is the frog leg raise. It's weird, I'll show it to you when I get there. There's the Thai ice cream man. Nobody ever comes out. So today was leg day and I just did 20 one-legged pistol squats, 15 for the next set, and three for the last one. But by that point, no more. So I just feel so strong right now, so stupid. I'm so stupid strong. So I just wanted to update you on the workout stuff and still eating the one meal a day, calorie restricted, mind you, like 1,700 to 1,800 calories a day. And I've added in some fruit so I break my fast with some fruit and then have my giant meal. I just got some yams. I've been doing the yams. Ow! That was hot. Got a whack load of yams. Garlic, that gives me gas. That's nice. Papayas, yummy. Cocoa, yummies. Got a bunch of yummy stuff with the onions and the kaffir lime leaves and mushrooms and apples and morning glory. Some chia seeds and ginger down there. A bunch of B12. That's vegan safe B12. That's Brett's. He injects himself with heroin. And we got some frozen Brussels sprouts, green peas, blueberries, and mangoes. I wanna see if frozen peeled mangoes F me up. I think it's just the skin and hopefully this doesn't have any skin diseases on it. So I think that's about it for today. I've been drinking turpentine. That's been interesting. I'll probably make a video on it soon. Haven't noticed anything except some weird things, like hives. I get the odd hive. It's like a holy shit reaction. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> this is paint thinner. You're thinning our body. We have no paint here, so don't really know why you're doing it. I imagine things are dying. It's helpful somehow, so we're done. Thank you so much for watching the video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if your form of exercise is throwing rocks at the elderly. That doesn't even seem very effective, let alone nice dick move, I'm being honest with you. We're done. If you like my haircut, it's hair. A little weird back here. Whatever. 150 baht. Not bad. Okay.
I think that's it. You can heal anything. Move slow. Start slow. Build yourself up slowly. Go for a five minute walk, and if that's too much, come back. Although if you walk for five, then you gotta walk five back. That's ten minutes, you might die. So take it slow, build yourself up, and it will help you heal. Moving the body helps you heal. As much as resting and sleep is important, all that stuff, moving is good too. Just not too much. You stress your body. You're done. Okay, see ya. Subscribe for the next next video. See, see you in the next one. What? You, it made sense. Mm -hmm.